So it's the summer of 2020. It's locked down and I've just finished indulging in my bad habits in bed, of course. And I go downstairs after my usual pathetic routine. And my sister's made waffles filled with chocolate. And me having no self control whatsoever, I sit down and get ready to devour every last piece, bro. And without being present, bro, after 60 seconds, you know, finish the entire plate. I'm looking for more, and I'm still searching for this insatiable desire. Or pleasure. Now, if you don't know, my name is Yusuf, and my mission is to lead this movement and to save as many young men as possible from mental health issues and dopamine addiction and to defeat the system, bro, which has, you know, programmed us and brainwashed us for failure and an incredibly you know, weak life full of instant gratification and pleasures. Now looking back, I used to be this ravenous sort of animalistic, if you want to call it, little kid, little teenager. Of course I was lost, you know, Thinking these things would give me some sort of satisfaction or these are the key things that I wanted in life or something like that. And I would think that these you know, instant gratification activities would somehow fill this void that I had. And I would jump from one source of you know dopamine and instant gratification and instant pleasure to another. And once I was done with that. I would hop on to the next thing. I would envision, you know, the next one's going to be better than the previous one. And it's going to be more fulfilling somehow than the last one. You know, after video games, maybe some junk is going to be better. And oh, this junk doesn't taste nice. Let me go watch a YouTube video. That's useless for me. Or let me watch a Netflix show at 3am. But guess what, bro? All I was doing was literally decreasing my baseline. So I needed more and more pleasure at the same time to get the same response. Bro. And I wouldn't even notice, you know, that my actions were slowly but surely leading me to live a life, you know, void of purpose, making me dull and aimless, pretty much defeated, and nowhere to, you know, look to, nobody to talk to, and I would just indulge in these instant gratification activities and habits, but I would give in to these pleasurable activities, bro, like a little kid in the candy store, picking the sweet. You know how when a kid goes to a candy store, they can't take the eyes off the candy. They want every single one. They don't just want one lolly. They go and get that other fizzy sweet or whatever. And then they see the marshmallows. That's me. That's what I used to be like, bro. I see that video game, mobile game, get YouTube on the iPad or something. Uh, some unhealthy snack my mum used to get. Doing all of these things, bro. And in truth, what I was doing, bro, is just making my future life an absolute misery. And luckily for you, you know, I've been I've been there, done that, been in that situation, bro. And unfortunately, what helped me though was actually reaching my lowest point possible. And you might be thinking, 
No, how is that gonna help you? Well, it got to the point, bro, where pretty much I got no stimulation whatsoever. As I said, I was juggling, maybe playing video games here and there, then eating junk food at the same time, then texting my friend or something on Snapchat, and scrolling on YouTube mindlessly. And it got to the point where, you know, it was so brain numbing that I finally realized, you know, I was getting no stimulation. Like, I was literally getting no dopamine. My baseline had dropped so much, bro. I couldn't even get any pleasure from these instant gratification activities that you would associate with pleasure. Like, can you imagine that, bro? And very slowly, but surely, I began reducing these habits, bro. Very gradually. And after this, I started, you know, to begin good ones, like some sort of exercise at home. As the sort of base for change, bro, which is what you need to understand. You have to have something that catapults you to, you know, making a change, bro. And, you know, maybe I can help you guys with a few steps if you want to implement these, bro. And the first one I would say is, bro, you got to identify what you're doing bad. Like, maybe if you're eating horrendously and you're eating a lot of sugar, I don't know, you're eating stuff that makes you bloated. That's gonna... That's literally gonna cause you to be tired, bro. And then what are you gonna be, what are you gonna do when you're tired? You're gonna be lazy. You're not gonna put effort into, you know, maybe your work or whatever you wanna do, bro. You're not gonna have that drive. And you have to, you have to note the one thing that's pulling you back, bro from starting the thing that you want to do and achieve what you want bro for me it was video games i had to quit those and bro you're probably coping bro. you're probably saying oh no you you can't do you can't play video games bro i've been there i've been the guy i was like i was watching the youtube videos and some guy saying oh bro you need to quit video games forever like what's he on about bro didn't take heed of his advice or anything and then I only realized probably a year later is literally doing nothing for you bro why are you still playing unless you want to be a professional gamer bro it's not doing anything for your life you have to understand bro yeah Now this is a simple one, I'll be honest, I didn't use this, but I've come to know it would help a lot of people, is just, you know, being accountable and being held accountable more like. So, and what I mean by this is not just, you know, just text some random guy who will ask your mom or something, what I would actually say is, you have to tell your family or your friends that you're not that type of person anymore. This is this helped me massively, bro. You have to understand. I literally told them. I was like, oh, no, I'm not the guy. I don't play video games anymore. I said it to them, bro. And obviously, they were like, what do you mean you play every night? And the weekends you play like 12 hours. Like, yeah, nah, I don't, I don't play that anymore. Get it out, bro. Out of your system. Because honestly, when you say, oh, I'm going to reduce it. And you be a little girl and you say, yeah, I can't live without it. I have to slowly reduce like two hours or something. Bro, shut up. 
you can. You're identifying yourself as the guy who still plays the mobile game or you're still watching the hub or you're still doing all the bad habits and playing video games and scrolling on TikTok. You're still identifying as the guy, bro. You can't. You have to shift your identity, bro. That's, that's literally what it's all about. People don't understand this, bro. So tell people that you don't associate with this anymore and f try to form your new identity, bro. This is a whole different video, but I'm sure you guys can take away something from that as well. And yeah, you just can't, you can't be that guy anymore. If you want to change and not be the guy and start exercising and doing all the good habits and improving your life and your mental health, you can't be that guy. I repeat it again. You cannot be the guy who still plays video games or watches TikTok for three hours. Do you understand? You have to flip it, bro. Tell yourself, tell your family and your, your friends, people around you. Firstly, to keep you accountable. And secondly, tell them, tell them the new identity that you want to form. Say to them, yeah, I'm going to go to the gym. I'm, I'm the guy that goes to the, the gym. I, I exercise. I don't eat crap food. I eat healthy. That's what I do. You need to ingrain that in your brain, bro. Like you've ingrained the fact that you're a video gamer for six years. If you want to change your life, you have to do this, bro. There's no other way. You probably tried countless things. Oh yeah, reduce it like a little girl. I'm not. I'm not saying this to make fun of you. I've been there, bro. And it was annoying for years. I would say, yeah, nah, don't worry. I'll do it when I'm later. I'll do it when I'm later. I'll do it when I'm older. And that was at probably. 15, 16 maybe. Because it did click right there. It did click. I remember I was doing GCSEs. And my dad said, you know, he just said a statement, which to this day I remember, he just said something along the lines of, how are video games going to help you in your life? That's what he said. And obviously I was still playing the video game, but it did hit me in the back of my mind somewhere. Obviously I still remember now, so. And then I said, you know, I'm not gonna play video games. They don't, they're not gonna, you know, help me achieve anything or help me with my exams. And then later on, you know, due to bad mental health, I picked it up again and just carried on doing it for years, bro. Which is why I say this, you have to change your identity, bro. I mean, obviously you can be that guy, sure. But do you want to? Do you want to be like every, literally 90% of humans and of, of young men, probably 95% I would say, nowadays, bro. Just scrolling brainlessly, watching inappropriate things not even exercising don't know anything about health bro do you want to be that guy? well if you don't then time to take action bro that's all you gotta do it's hard but it's simple take action bro now that's enough, you know, ranting. But I hope this helped, bro. And I thought I'd do these styles of this type of video again because I just don't feel 
something off about the presentation style. I just like speaking directly at you, bro. Feels more authentic to me, but let me know in the comments, bro. You know, what you guys think about this. And let me know if any questions or anything you have in the comments, bro. And also, if you're serious about, you know, changing the trajectory of your life and building a better life for you and your family, then click the link in the first in the description, bro. First link in the description. And remember, the right time is now, bro. So get to work. I'll see you boys in the next one.